Hi there and welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. In our video today we're going to talk about the offset function which belongs in the family of lookup functions. Okay, as we've done in previous videos we're going to break down the video into three steps. The first, we're going to tell you, explain to you what the offset function does. Two, we will show you the exact formula setup for an offset function and third, which is the most exciting part of our video, we're going to see an example of how the offset function works. All right, offset. Just as its name symbolizes, the offset function returns the value of a cell, or many cells for that matter, that are offset by a certain number of rows and columns from a reference point. In other words, the offset function will return to you cells that are located, say, x number of rows and y number of columns away from a designated reference cell. There are five arguments. Okay, don't get frightened here. There are five required arguments when you set up an offset formula. Always start off with an equal sign followed by the name of the function, which is offset. Doesn't matter whether you capitalize the function name. Offset followed by five arguments. The first argument is the reference cell. This is the reference point that we have here, the designated reference cell. Second argument is the rows and the third is the columns. So essentially these three arguments will designate the positioning of the cells that you want returned. So in other words, if you have a reference cell and you want that particular reference cell to be the absolute point from which you return the cells, you're going to have a row number of zero and a column number of zero. Because by doing that, you have the reference cell as the exact positioning point. But if you wanted to have one row down and say three columns over from the reference point, at that point, these would have numbers such as one and three. Okay, so these three arguments will give you the positioning of the output. The last two arguments, the height and the width, will give you what you want your output to look like. So essentially, if you want the output to include five cells down, the height would be five. If you want the uh, output to be five cells wide, as such, you would put five as your width. So this here, my friends, is your offset formula. Keep this in the back of your mind as we now take a look at an example using the offset function. All right, so let's head now into Google Spreadsheets. And what we have here now is our data set, which includes the top 100 male and female tennis pros, along with data such as their rank and their age. So here, if we go down past 100, here you see that the female tennis pros list starts down here. Okay, so we have a list of 200 folks, 100 males, 100 females, the top tennis pros. And what we want now is to fill out these tables that include the top 10 men's names and their ages, along with the top 10 women's names and ages. And so what we can do is simply use two formulas, just two formulas to fill out each of these tables. One offset formula here for the men's and one offset formula here for the women's. So can you imagine that? We can actually have an output of 10 names and 10 ages using just one formula. Okay, so what we're going to do now is walk through each of the inputs that are required within the offset function. Okay, step one is our reference cell, and our reference cell for both tables will be A1. This is simply what we want to designate as our reference point. If we want to create this table for the men's, we know that our positioning has to start here for, with Roger Federer because once you start here, we can then offset 
and take down these 10 names and ages and that would belong right here in this table. So to get to this positioning point, we have to go one down from our reference cell and one column over. So as such, these two inputs will be one and one. Again, it's because from our reference cell, we have to go down one row and over one column. At that point, our output, what do we want our output to look like? Well, we want our output to include 10 names and 10 ages. In other words, we want our output to have a height of 10 and a width of 2 because we are going down 10 cells and we are including two columns. That is how we want our output to look. A height of 10, a width of 2. At that point, you can highlight this entire range because that's where the table will be, the output will be. And we start with the equal sign followed by offset function name. First argument is the designated cell, A1. Second, number of rows. Third, number of columns. Fourth, our height. Fifth, our width. At this point, we are almost done. The thing I need you to remember is offset function is an array formula. Check out our video on the array formula for more details. Array formula, so what does that mean? That means we have to be sure that in our formula, we write down array formula. That is absolutely necessary for this function. Uh, if you didn't want to write down array formula, no problem. On your keyboard, you would simply hit Control, Shift, Enter. Either way, would tell Google Spreadsheet to designate that function as an array formula or an array function. At this point, your formula is all set up and you can click on Enter. And there you have it. The moment you click on Enter, you have now the top 10 male tennis pros followed by their ages. Imagine that this whole table was created using just one formula the offset function. Okay, we're going to do the same thing now using the women's table. And again, we're going to designate all of the inputs. Okay, so our designated reference point is cell A1. Now, where do we want the table to start? Well, we actually need it to start with the women's names. So as such, you will take a look down here and notice that the women's na names don't begin until here in this row, which is located in row 102. So when we start creating our inputs, the number of rows down is 101, because starting with, if you go down 101 rows, you're going to hit row 102, which is where the women's tennis pros list begins. So again, starting here from our designated cell, we have to go down 101 rows, which is where the women's names begin. In addition to going down 101 rows, you have to go over by one column so that we begin with their names. Finally, the height and the width are exactly the same as the men's because we have basically duplicate tables. So we want the height of the output to be 10 and the width to be 2. So here at this point, you have everything set up. We can highlight the output range here. Click on the formula bar and start here with the offset name. Our reference point is A1. Rows is the second argument. Columns is the third. Height is the fourth. Width is the last. Okay, remember. Remember, 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 every time you use an offset function, what is it? It's an array formula, so we have to designate that using the array formula. And at that point, click Enter, and voila! You now have the top 10 women tennis pros names and ages. Okay, you have just learned and just mastered uh, one of the most powerful, powerful functions here in Google Spreadsheets.